All right, well, I really hope I can figure out how to edit now because I don't know how to start this anymore. Um, and it's a hard video to do. Um, I haven't seen you guys in a while. I know that. Um, 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 um. Uh, I've been wanting to do a tribute to Don, who died this year, because her and I were really close, really similar, and um, it's hard to talk about. Um, so I wanted to wait until I could celebrate her and not be crying like crazy but let me show you for our dawn tribute we have it's a you know s'mores cake that i found and we're gonna destroy it so, so take a good look at how pretty it is now and you got the you got little dusting of the, the stuff on there like a little campfire you got your s'mores um so me and dawn are really weird so, you know, sometimes we did things like weird food. Oh, God. <laughs> weird food combinations. So, uh, of course, for Don's tribute video, this is sauerkraut. <laughs> God. So we're just going to gonna put up a bunch of sauerkraut. This little cake here. But wait, there's more. Um, Don also. Oh, let me mention. This is my version of Teddy. Not not as big. Pretty small, actually. You can't do a whole lot of um. Oh, the mic. I forgot. I had the mic on the unicorn. This is my version of of Teddy. Um. Don't fall because I took your sriracha bot. Oh, I, I ruined the surprise. <laughs> We're also going to put sriracha on it. Improvise. Okay. My version of Teddy. Slash mic holder. Stay. All right. There we go. She did, uh, that like Korean spicy noodle stuff. I, I don't know. But I'm gonna do sriracha. That's hot enough for me. I don't do spice. Oh yeah, we gotta drench it because you know that that's what Dawn would do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I'm gonna take my lactate and then a giant bite of this and then we'll get into what did I do with it this isn't a very good dawn tribute she could process dairy um, this moment right here I'm gonna go ahead and take some lactate and then take a giant bite of this can I stall any longer? Um, all right. For Dawn. Cheers.
Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, what? What? Hold on. Oh, fuck. Disgusting. <laughs> oh, God. I thought my first tears in this video would be emotional, not because. <laughs> But, in true Don fashion, I swallowed it. It tried to come up like three times. I got it down. She would probably attempt another bite. Sorry, man. You're a better woman than I am. Yeah. All right, unicorn, it's your turn. Hey, come on. I, I did it, you gotta do it too. Um. Oh, God. Fuck. She would have loved that, though. Don knew my suffering in a way that most people don't understand. <sighs> the way that when you've been abused and sexually assaulted in the way that, that we were, you just relate differently to people and you kind of stay in this frozen childlike state <sighs> and we both got that dorkiness you know like yeah i'm just gonna put some sriracha and sauerkraut in a cake and eat it her and I were talking about like weird food combinations. I don't think either one of us ever did it, but here we go now. <laughs> um, I don't do spice well. <laughs> I thought that was gonna hit me the most, but man, that sauerkraut. <laughs> I almost threw that up. She would have. <laughs> she would have finished this whole thing. I really hope I can figure out how to edit because there's going to be a lot of me staring off in the space. Um, I stopped doing these for a while because my editing, or the laptop that my editing stuff was on, stopped. This is me talking about anything besides what I wanted to talk about, but I guess that's all I wanted to say is just like... <sighs> I think... Uh, I think it's hard to relate to people when you've had something like, like what we experience when you're so young and that trauma it makes it difficult 
But she got me. And I don't love a lot of people. One of the things that she said in her first video that I saw was that she felt like a sociopath and we all know her. She was not a sociopath. She had a lot of love. But you do, your heart is so closed up because you've been so hurt. I don't, I don't love a lot of people. It's hard to. But I loved her. And I didn't even get to meet her. I was planning on it and then COVID hit and now there's just no chance. I couldn't even look at her Facebook for a long time. Today was the first day that I went on there and saw all the tributes people had written and the uh, celebration of life that they did on the first. And I just couldn't even look. I read through our old messages today and I haven't been able to look at them at all. Which is weird because I had another friend die in 2020 and with him I watched his comedy and I read through our messages immediately and I don't know I guess I just wasn't like I knew him I guess more in a like physical sense than I knew her but I wasn't as close to him and it still hit really hard. But I, like, his, his comedy was a source of comfort for me, and I'd watch it over and over and over. But with her, like, I couldn't look at her videos. I couldn't. I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm young. I don't know. I haven't had a whole lot of deaths and experiencing how you. They're not the same. They all hit differently. Um, I've never had someone that I cry about every day. With Seth, it was, you know, the first few months a fair bit, and then it just hit me randomly. And this one's not... Oh, they're back to doing that. Gosh darn it. I hope you don't hear the yard bark out there. Dog going crazy. She's cool right now. But I had to do this because I couldn't keep stalling. I need to get it off my chest. and I don't have anyone to talk to in life. and It's like... I don't think people understand how close I was to her. Cause it's like, this is some woman you never met, but... That's what hurts is I never will. <laughs> but... I know she's happier. I keep thinking of her fucking Maddie. I know she was still broken up over her death, but I just imagined them hugging each other. Um, but I'm selfish. I wanted to hug her. <laughs> At least one. And they both, ugh. Sorry, I keep going to the other death because it's easier to talk about. Um, they both were doing so well when they died. Seth was, 
a comedian and he was just about to go on tour. Dawn was in a relationship. I hadn't talked to her very recently because I wasn't doing well and she seemed happy and I didn't want to drag her down. But she, she was happy and that's when she died. And he was just about to make it, it felt like, and that's when he died. And then there's me, who I feel like is just, just waiting to be able to die, and I can't. I don't understand. I'm not gonna kill myself, that's not what I'm saying. I just, I've been suicidal since I was nine and she understood how that was. And I don't know, I should, I should wrap this up, but you don't and I know you love me too I don't I don't always know if people genuinely like me but I know she genuinely likes me anyways I'll make um another video sometime soon just let you guys know what's been going on more than just all the deaths and loss. Oh, let me end it with Dawn's uh, sign off in her old days. We will eat again. <laughs>